I'm Victoria. I'm a library assistant here at the Greenville County Library System. Welcome to Wacky Science, a virtual edition. Um, we are doing STEM experiments, STEM labs here, uh, and this is definitely geared towards middle schoolers, but we're happy for anyone to join us. Today we're going to be making a hot air balloon. You're going to need a trash bag, tape, and a hair dryer. Um, the trash bag doesn't need to be any particular color. It can be white or black. Um, you want it kind of big enough that you'll have a good sized balloon. And this is really simple. What you're going to do is, of course, open up the trash bag, stick your fist inside of the opening, and gather up the end loosely around your fist. And the goal, of course, is to be able to put the end of the blow dryer into the opening in the back. Your fist just kind of helps keep it shape. Then you'll cut a piece of tape. I'm going to have a lovely assistant because it's a little easier to do this with two people. So, she's going to wrap the tape around my wrist. Beautifully done. And then I'm just going to gently work my wrist out of the bag. Alright, so we have it taped. And I'll take my hair dryer. I'm going to put it on the hot setting and the highest setting. And of course, because you won't be able to hear me while I'm doing this, I will go ahead and explain a little bit of the science behind it. So, how a hot air balloon works is as it heats the air molecules inside of the balloon, they move faster and faster, the molecules move faster and faster and faster, and some of them start to escape out the open end of the balloon. And as they escape, they decrease the density of the air inside the balloon. So the, the air inside the balloon is less dense than the air outside of it. And that's what allows the balloon to float. Um, it's kind of similar to a helium balloon in that a helium balloon, the helium inside of it is less dense than the air outside of it. Um, and then of course, as a hot air balloon cools, as the heat um, source is removed from the balloon to allow it to descend, it descends because those air molecules stop moving so quickly, they slow down and they allow more air molecules to come back in because nature loves a vacuum, nature loves a void, and it wants to fill it. So those air molecules, as the air cools inside of the hot air balloon, come back in to the balloon and it's able to descend. Here we go. Stay tuned for more episodes. Have a great day.